All right, so this video here is to show you the disassembled and reassemble of the GSO 99% dielectric diagonal. Um, so these are the parts after you have disassembled it, it'll look like this. Um, now the, the, the glass on this is much like a reflector telescope. You gotta, you gotta clean the mirror on this just like you would with a reflector telescope. And this here is the, uh, the body of it after it's disassembled. This here is the uh, mirror that you look into. Uh, the way you want to clean this, and you want to clean this just like you would a reflector telescope mirror, uh, you basically unscrew it with four screws underneath it, and you'll want to use some distilled water uh, after you clean this with uh, some water. Uh, just, I recommend just using some distilled water to just pour it on the mirror. Now that pad behind it comes off, it'll, it'll come right off. Um, so be very careful when you're handling this mirror because it can easily get scratched. And once you do that, you've damaged it pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, blow off some dust particles that are on it a little bit, kind of clean it up a little bit. Now, I would not recommend you do it this way. Um, shortly after I did this video, I decided that I was going to take some uh, some distilled water and I was going to pour it over the mirror and clean it like some of the people show uh, cleaning a reflector telescope mirror. Uh, that's possibly the best thing that you can do because I noticed that there was a little bit of streaks that were on this. So using cotton balls like I'm about to do is really not a good idea. This here is 50% water and 50% 91% uh, uh, rubbing alcohol. And uh, I took a cotton ball and kind of streaked it across there very lightly. It looked like I was pressing kind of hard, but it wasn't. Um, but I would not recommend you clean it like this. This is a bad way of cleaning your mirror on your dielectric diagonal. So if you want an easy way to clean this mirror, just simply take the mirror and put it in, into water and uh, or just hold it over running water and let the running water run on top of this mirror. Using a, using um, cotton balls is a very, very bad ideal to do. Uh, I realized that shortly after I did it that I was making a huge mistake. Luckily, I didn't scratch it or anything like that. I checked it really good and didn't really notice any, any scratches on it or anything like that. But definitely don't clean it like this. This is a really, really huge mistake on my end for doing it this way. Doing it this way could have led to some serious damage to the actual uh, mirror itself, but I wanted to demonstrate, uh, let this be a video on what not to do with your diagonal mirror. Now we're getting in a final blast of air to kind of try to get a dust particle off of there. There's actually a piece of dust, a little piece of uh, lint that was really being stubborn on um, this mirror. So I took a piece of uh, cotton ball to try to like lift it off because the, uh, the blower, the puffer uh, wasn't being able to lift it. So I took another piece of cotton ball and tried to lift it off and it finally came off with a little bit of a lifting there with the uh, cotton ball. As you see there, it's got a nice little surface clean now, but uh, I would not recommend cleaning it this way, especially not with rubbing alcohol and water. Uh, it's really it's really easier just to just pour some water over the top of it, and um, it'll clean right off. Unless you got some really, really sticky liquid on it, then you'll probably have to do some, some of what I did. Now the part comes of reassembling um, the diagonal. 
And this is pretty tricky trying to do this. I would not recommend you do what I'm about to do. The easiest way is to kind of hover the body over it and be very careful that you don't scratch that mirror because if you do, uh, you're going to have some serious damage to your mirror. Um, but this is what I what I tried to do was try to hover it over the mirror to kind of like lay it on top of there. And then I realized that it's a little tricky. So the way that I did it was, was I uh, I actually lifted the uh, the mirror up and and laid it on um, on there, which was a little bit more of a tricky thing to do. So the lighting was pretty bad, I see. Uh, so I was attempting to uh, to put that mirror in. I was trying to figure out how I was going to lay that mirror um, into there because if you drop it, you can easily scratch it or do some damage to the mirror. And that's what I was kind of having a bit of a problem with was how I was going to get <laughs> the mirror to like sit in, in there. And this is the part where the tense moment comes in because I'm sure you guys are like, oh man, this is bad. But... Um, I kind of lifted it up and slid it in under there, and then I kind of flipped it back up to get it um, positioned. And that little pad right there will come off. Uh, it should, at least mine came off. Um, but now that we take the, the back part of it and uh, put the four screws in, and then you're pretty much pretty much done with assembling the body. And the only thing left to do is to put the uh, the pieces on, the two pieces on that your uh, your it goes into your focuser and the other piece goes into uh, your eyepiece goes into it. So here we are assembling the uh, screws or lining the screws with the holes on the diagonal on the bottom of it. And there you have it. It's fully, fully assembled. Now we got to go ahead and put the other two pieces on now. That's one piece on. Now we put the part that goes into the focuser on. Mine's a little scratched up because <laughs> when I was using my camera on my phone, I kind of scratched it up a little bit by the force of it. So not good. But anyways, that's the uh, diagonal fully assembled now. And I'll be, hopefully you have your mirror cleaned and your diagonal is reassembled now. And we are finished now. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.